welcome or welcome back to the channel we are cooking yet again i have a super easy salmon recipe for y'all it is literally so good everyone i've made it for loves it i called it marry me salmon in the title because you make this salmon for your man he gonna want to marry you period but i haven't made it for my man yet obviously so <laughs> I don't want to hear nothing in them comments but anyway i did make rice yet again y'all like i promise i make other stuff but it just so happens that stuff i want to record i end up making rice with it like by accident so <laughs> i was gonna say next time i won't make rice but next time i cook i am making rice so i'm gonna try to drift away from the rice next couple times i cook and record but anyway we did have broccoli with it i'm all about easy okay so it was instant white rice yet again and the broccoli was the frozen kind of coming back child i'm not whipping out that head of broccoli fresh from the store chopping it up i'm not doing that the bagged broccoli is just as good you just gotta add some life into it so y'all will see me later on in the video how i did that but yes stay tuned for the marry me salmon make this so much i don't measure my ingredients anymore so if i had to i would say probably four tablespoons of the honey two tablespoons of the apple cider vinegar and then a teaspoon and a half probably of the seasonings i use salt pepper cayenne and then some brown sugar bourbon seasoning y'all that's just the fancy in me coming out you don't have to use that but if you want to try it it is from technically kroger but whatever store is affiliated with kroger that is near you you can get it from there so the seasonings that you use in the glaze you want to put those same seasonings on your salmon so if you use salt pepper slap your mama and garlic powder then you need to season your salmon with salt pepper slap your mama and garlic powder does that make sense and be generous and please do both sides okay we're not gonna be them people that season one side of the fish season both sides okay
a few moments later. You want to put half the glaze on now and then let it cook a little bit more and then flip it and put the other half on the other side if that makes sense. Okay, so half now, flip it and then the other half. you got the glaze in there right some of it's gonna get on the bottom of the pan and all that right so you want to utilize all of it at the bottom of the pan so you're gonna put some butter in the pan like I just did that's gonna deglaze your pan who am I that's what I want to know but anyway so you want to get up all that goodness at the bottom of the pan mixed with the butter y'all my camera angle is really bad, so you won't see a good vision of this, but you want to tilt the pan, right? And get all that glaze in one area and then scoop it up and pour it back on top of the salmon, right? Cause it's basically making like a syrup at this point almost. So you don't want to lose all that flavor at the bottom of the pan. Since you want that on top, you want to taste that. Do what I just described, which is basing. <laughs> I'm dead because who do I think I am but based the salmon with the kind of syrup that the glaze and the butter has made and y'all that is what makes the salmon so good like oh my god look at that girl just start picking out your ring right now I'm not playing start looking at rings because you gonna have to